What well, is up guys, JJ Andrews from Dirt Syndicate, bringing you a video on how to install the AOKP ROM for the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Go ahead and go to that link in the description, you're going to see these two downloads. Go ahead and use that mirror one that works well, and also download those Google Apps. Go ahead and push those files to your internal SD card on your Galaxy Nexus. And I'll be back with you guys on the phone once all those files are in our Galaxy Nexus. Okay, so now that we have those files on our internal SD card on our phone, we're going to go ahead and power off our device. So go ahead and power off. And once our phone powers off, we're going to go ahead and boot into our custom recovery. And how you're going to do that, you're going to hold up on your volume and down on your volume. But at the same time, we're also going to press power. So... Volume down, volume up, and power hold. All of those done at the same time once your phone is powered off. So here you can see my phone just powered off, so that's exactly what we're going to do now. So go ahead and hold down both of those, and press power. It should vibrate once, and this is your fast boot. Now go ahead and press up twice um, with the volume rocker, and press power. You're going to go into recovery mode. Now in recovery mode, we're going to go ahead and do a full data wipe and wipe your cache, wipe down the cache, and then install the ROM itself. And after that we're going to go ahead and install the Google Apps. So go ahead, and if you want to, make a backup now. If you don't want to, then just do this. Go ahead and wipe data, delete all user data. Remember, this is going to delete all the user data that you had on the previous ROM. And yeah, I'll be back with you guys once this has deleted all the user data. Okay, as you can see, data wipe is now complete. Now go down to wipe cache partition, and yes, wipe your cache. That's going to delete all the saved data that the data wipe didn't get rid of. And after that, we're going to want to go ahead and scroll down to advanced once it's done wiping our cache. So it has to format it. There we go. So scroll down to advanced, wipe down the cache. Yes, wipe down the cache. And there we go. Now you can go ahead and go to that folder or place that you put the ROM file itself. So go to choose it from SD card, mine was in my download folder, and look for it, aokp.tarospar. Okay, here we go. So go ahead and install the aokp.zip, and I'll be back to you guys once that aokp install is complete. Okay, so here we are, our aokp. The ROM itself is finished installing, so again go to choose it from SD card, go to that place that you put those Google Apps, and go ahead and go right down to that to those Google Apps, and yes, install those Google Apps. So I'll be right back with you guys once our Google Apps are installed. Okay, so once again, here we are, our Google Apps are complete, now we can go back and reboot system now. Now there is a couple bugs on this ROM, MMS has not been tested yet. So MMS may work or may not work, we have not tested that yet, or at least the developer hasn't tested that yet. And confirmed not working is GPS, but other than that, everything is supposed to be working. So this is AOKP, so it's pretty much uh, a Kang, an open source Kang project, and yeah, it's basically just going to be stock with um, a couple modifications. And I'll go over those modifications in the full review, but for now, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment if you have a question. And yeah, uh, go ahead and only dislike if you didn't like the quality of the video. If you don't like the ROM, don't dislike it, because that's that it gives me false feedback for you guys. So, if you did dislike because of the quality of the video, then please let me know, because it does affect me and uh, how often I'll bring video to you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later.